In Northern California, after the biggest earthquake to hit the San Francisco Bay Area in 25 years, measuring 6.0, we have full team coverage starting with ABC Cecilia Vega in Napa. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning to you. The governor declared a state of emergency out here in downtown Napa was hit the hardest. Just take a look at this. This building behind me shows what residents are waking up to this morning. This was a law office. It was a, a wine bar. This morning, a pile of rubble with chunks of that building just dangling precariously here. 3.20 a.m. Sunday, the quake strikes in the dead of night. The earth-shattering moment caught on surveillance video shaking people out of bed. And rocking cars and buildings. I woke up and thought, oh my God, that's, this is it. You know, this is the big one. These store shelves thrashed around before the power goes out. Seconds later, the shaking is over, but the chaos has just begun. The monster 6.0 quake, the worst to hit the Bay Area in 25 years. Fires rage in the scenic tourist town of Napa. More than a dozen buildings in the historic downtown ravaged. Shattered glass, cars buried in brick, and roads ripped wide open. The ceiling is crashed. Everything, the whole store is like that on the other side. The control tower windows at Napa County Airport completely blown out. And this clock frozen in time, marking the exact moment the quake hit. The glass from the mirrors came and put chards and fragments everywhere. More than 200 people were taken to local hospitals, including a 13-year-old boy in serious condition after being hit by falling debris. A fireplace collapsed in the home. Power knocked out for thousands, and more than 30 buildings and homes deemed too unstable for anyone to go inside. It's the common sense side. Please stay away from the buildings that look like they're leaning. And this morning, those who are allowed in, stunned by the damage. All the apartments pretty much look like this. But as the cleanup begins, so too does the fear of economic devastation, as countless images emerge of the area's famed wine and olive oil stock now left in pieces on the floor and shoveled into dumpsters. Authorities say this could have been so much worse. Had this happened in the middle of the afternoon, this building here, these streets would have been packed full of people still. The price tag for this, the damage from this earthquake, George, authorities say could top a billion dollars.